we are still living, so this is really good. Uh, the last scare was okay, it was not the best one, but at the same time we didn't lose so much on the other boat. We can see Vestas, so this is not really nice. It was better when we can see anyone. <laughs> My parents had a cruising boat, uh, like a 30 feet cruising boat. Basically, I was born in January and in February I was already on the boat. They bring me with this like system of bungee. They make like a little bed for me and they bring me on the boat. So. I don't have really that memories, but I have some picture and yeah, probably like I just born on the on the water. It's it's nice. It's crazy. I learned I learned a lot about how to manage myself also in the hard moments. I had some quite hard moments in the Southern Ocean and it was more like mentally tough than physically. So yeah, I tried just to push myself to go through. I said, okay, tomorrow will be a next, another day and it will be better. And just, just trying to get through of it and keep pushing, you know, like we are here to perform the boat. Frankie Grove from the start of this project to now has been quite incredible. She came with no offshore experience at all. She'd come from Olympic backgrounds and hadn't really sailed a big boat and she just really took it on and she's now like a real critical member of the team but she does make us laugh because sometimes she says yeah 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 but then you realise that she actually has, hasn't understood a word and you have to just check every now and again that she is understanding you and I forget I get lazy we've got 10 nationalities on the boat ciao konnasatatu hey hugore hola hello old chap oh g'day how you going salut comment ça va hey mate how's it going everyone speaks amazing english we run the boat in english but when they're tired obviously it's quite hard to deal in a second language and I forget and uh, it's just quite important that you just make sure that everybody's clear and on the same page when they're tired especially when they're dealing with a second language so she does make us laugh sometimes. He was on the main sheet. <laughs> Tell the story, Frankie. Yeah, he was on the main sheet, and this massive flying fish just crashed on the dagger board, and it was like still lying on the dagger board. And Freddie just like, take the main sheet. I'm going to save him. <laughs> and then he saved it. He reckoned the fish has a broke wing, so maybe now he's just a fish, not flying. And Freddie just get nailed on by the waves. <laughs> he's a hero. He's like, very heroic. He's, he's a hero. He's an ocean hero. He's an ocean he's hero. An ocean hero. <laughs> I feel good. For me, it's like just amazing experience to to be able to do the round the world on a sailing boat, on in the ocean and the environment that I love, and with a really really good group of people on the boat. So it's like. We are really friends and everyone is pushing so hard, it's so nice. And of course, like, worst thing, uh, the, the freeze drive maybe. <laughs> the food is not really nice every time. <laughs> <laughs> 